right, y'all, welcome to Chris Chris. Today we're gonna be discussing the Dave Chappelle Netflix special and how it impacted people. And lastly, we're gonna talk about Jay-Z and his first move since partnering with the NFL. So the talk of the week has honestly been the Dave Chappelle Sticks and Stones Netflix special. It released on Tuesday. I wanna say this is one of the few specials that had two complete different reactions. Like, either you really loved it or you really fucking hated it. Based off what Dave talked about, there are some very controversial topics, but that's what Dave Chappelle is and that's what he talks about on his stand-up. So they should already know what was expected. He discusses such things as Anthony Bourdain's suicide. He discussed Jesse Smollett and his Chicago beating. He discussed the LGBT community. He discussed the Michael Jackson case. He discussed cancel culture. He covered a lot of topics and a lot of topics that can get people highly offended. Let's say that cancel culture that Dave addressed in that special is trying to cancel him. Critics are trying to say he went too far. He's too offensive. He's too vulgar. I'm gonna show you right now. Currently he has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes and Honestly, y'all need to shut the fuck up. This is comedy, man. I don't know how these people would be surviving Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Bernie Mac, you know what I'm saying? Like all these fucking legends, all of them would be canceled in today's fucking climate. It's, it's a joke. And the funniest part about the backlash on Dave Chappelle's special is most of the people that have the outrage, they ignored the message that Dave was trying to send from what he was talking about. So there was a scene in the special I think that got a lot of people highly upset was Dave was on the Chappelle show at Comedy Central. And you know, he was openly allowed to say nigger. And he got called in the office saying, you can't say this word. And the word he can't say is the F word. You know what the F word is. I'm not gonna, say, it's not fuck, it's the other one. But so it goes to the point where the lady thought it was okay for Dave to say the N-word because maybe he's a nigger, but he couldn't say the F-word. But he, at the end of the day, Dave ain't a nigger. He also ain't that. So if one's acceptable, the other one definitely shouldn't be acceptable. So people took that one the wrong way, but the point made a lot of sense. And there's just one thing that me personally I wanted to talk about, and it's the fact that Part of that community, it's like they're able to crack jokes on straight people, they're rather to crack jokes on black people, Hispanic people, Muslim people, but all of a sudden when the roles are reversed and people are cracking jokes at them, now it's not funny, now we need to cancel them. But part of the thing is if you want to be equal, we all should be made fun of equally as well because that's comedy. It's not you're canceled, but this person's funny. No, either it's all funny or none of it's funny. Either you can laugh at yourself or don't be laughing at black jokes, don't be laughing at straight male jokes because I see those things all the time and they think it's all funny, but when it's on them, it's not. And it needs to be said at this point. If you want to be equal, you want to be a part, you got to be able to laugh and take jokes just like the rest of us. Either way, at this point, if you have not seen this special, whether you're one of these people that are gonna view it positively, you're gonna view it negatively. I advise you to watch it. If you're someone that has a good sense of humor, you're probably gonna find it funny. If you're someone that's always triggered or emotionally adjusted, you're probably not. So I wanna know in the comments section, if you have seen it, did you think it was funny or did you think it was offensive? Because for my general consensus, most people online or most people of the public perception, they thought it was very funny, but people that are either part of the, some of the community he's made fun of or people that are emotionally triggered, they're the ones that were highly upset. So I wanna know in the comment section, did you think it was funny or did you really think it was bad taste? Because most bloggers or most websites that have that perception of the other people, they're canceling the fuck out of it, man. I'm not having it. That shit was one of the funniest things I've seen all year. So I did a video previously on Jay-Z working with the NFL, becoming a partial owner and helping to fix some of the issues. And I said I was gonna wait before I was gonna say whether he's doing something right or whether I consider him cooning. And after this week and some of the things I've seen, I've come to the conclusion that Jay-Z, you cooning my nigga. 
So the first thing Jay Z's doing with the NFL is this thing called the kickoff experience. He got Meek Mill on board, which is really good. You know, Meek Mill's part of the movement now. He's really part of that social justice because he was unjust with his handling of his probation and stuff in his eyes. So he's really vocal and powerful about that. He also got Rhapsody on it. She's a very upcoming artist who spreads a good message. Very understandable. But this is where Jay-Z went wrong. Jay-Z went wrong when he got Megan Trainer to join in on this madness. Now, after it was announced, there was a lot of talk, there was a lot of people upset, there was a lot of, Jay-Z, what the fuck you doing, bruh? But there's this one, I'll quote, I'm going to quote word for word because it really resonated with me. This person said, it was only a matter of time the NFL would decide to monetize social justice through t-shirts and Megan Trainor songs, wrote one user. White people did it with the blues, they did it with the jazz, they did it with rap, and now they're doing it with outrage over black males murdered by the police. Jay-Z, is that really something you want to be a part of or a hill you're trying to die on? Because, bro, it don't look good to me right now. It looks like you guys are just trying to do this social thing to, hey, we're trying to, we're trying to make a difference. We actually care, but you really don't. Now, people are mad at Colin Kaepernick and Eric Reed for coming at Jay-Z. They're like, man, he, he's going to do something. He has a message. But as of right now, to me, they were right in feeling the way they felt, especially when Jay-Z was telling them, why are you trying to do the Super Bowl to Travis Scott? There was even a tweet of Meek Mill questioning why Travis Scott was doing something with the NFL, and now he's doing it as well. So I'm not going to lie to you. I didn't know who Megan Trainor was, but I did a little research into her, and she has the Me Too song. So she's definitely going to bring in the other part of the social justice. So it's not even going to be about black people and rights and kneeling and all that now. It's just going to be about everything and rights for everyone. Yeah. That's cool, I don't know, rights for everyone and they're okay, but this was about Colin Kaepernick's message and that message is now being ignored and it's not right. And at the end of the day, to me, it comes off that Jay-Z is just trying to play both sides. He's trying to appeal to black people with Meek Mill and Rhapsody and he's trying to appeal to his other part counterparts with Megan Trainor. And when you try and please both crowds, you end up pleasing no one. So hopefully Jay figures it out or maybe this is just one bad setback. I'm also gonna show you a clip real quick of what Jay-Z was saying why blacks might be scared of cops in those certain situations. Of uh, growing up in a single parent house, which I grew up in, which me grew up in, and having an adverse feeling for authority, right? Your father's gone, so you like, I hate my dad. Well, nobody tell me what to do. I'm the man in the house. And then you hit the street and you run into a police officer. And his first thing is, put your hands up, freeze, shut up. And you're like, excuse my language, everybody. You're like, fuck you. Right? So that, in that interaction causes people to lose lives. After watching that, you're really just sitting there like, really, nigga? I expect that answer from a politician. I expect that answer from some uninformed motherfuckers. But getting that answer from Jay-Z, you're just like, Bruh. It's like either someone needs to get him some coaching on how to handle those situations and how to speak on things when things like that arise, or he's literally just pandering to the white man at this point because saying that is just fucking ignorant. It's just acting like black women aren't able to be good mothers and tell their sons to pay attention to follow the law and all this shit. It's fucking ignorant. It downgrades our women. It makes us feel like we're stupid. There's other fucking reasons to why stuff. It's not just us. It's also part of the cops as well. Just the whole statement's fucking ignorant. Honestly, after everything in the past week, it's really starting to rub me the wrong way. It's just like Jay-Z is just trying to get the most money, doing it off this movement. Like I said, Colin and Eric Reed, they, I feel like they have a reason to act the way they did. So let me know in the comment section. Do you think Jay-Z's cooning or do you really think he's just trying to make a difference and him, including Megan Trainor, is making a difference? Because I'd love to know because you know how I feel at this point. He's closer to that. I'm just trying to pamper to everybody. And I don't like that. Pick a side. So yeah, it wasn't a huge news week in terms of huge breaking news, but it was a good controversial topic week with the Chappelle and Jay-Z. So once again, let me know. Chappelle, do you think it was funny or did you think it was offensive? And also with Jay-Z, do you think he's actually really trying to help or is he just cooning to make the most money possible? 
Don't forget to subscribe, turn on those notifications, share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. This Chris Chris, I'm out this motherfucker.